Welcome back to Animal of the Week. In today's episode, we're looking at an animal influenced by the wizarding world of Harry Potter. The Sorting Hat Spider, or Areovixia gryffindorii, as it is actually called, is a spider strongly resembling the Sorting Hat from Harry Potter. Now for those who are not Potterheads, you may be wondering why it's named after Hogwarts founder Godric Gryffindor, who also lent his name to Gryffindor House, seeing as it looks like the Sorting Hat and not Godric Gryffindor. The reason is that the Sorting Hat was originally owned by Godric Gryffindor. At the time, it was simply his normal wizarding hat, but when faced with the issue of having to sort students into houses once the four founders of Hogwarts were dead, the hat was enchanted with the combined intelligence of the four founders and so the sorting hat was born. Apparently the scientists who discovered this spider were huge nerds and knew all of this, so they correctly named it Gryffindorii. I suppose sorting hatorii doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Anyway, on to the actual science now. These spiders are members of the family Aranidae more commonly known as orb weaver spiders. Orb weavers get their name from the fact that they weave spiral orb-shaped webs. However, there are other families that also spin orb-shaped webs, so they aren't that special. These spiders hail from the subcontinent of India, first discovered in 2015 in the state of Karnataka. This southwestern state of India includes the city of Bengaluru, also known as Mangalore. Karnataka's climate is subtropical. The state is split into three main subclimates, with wet coastline on the west, the Western Ghats mountain range running north to south, and the drier interior grasslands behind those mountains. The Sorting Hat Spider was discovered in the wet, lush Western Ghats mountain range, as they prefer a more green environment to live in. On a more micro level, these spiders enjoy spinning their orb-shaped webs on leaves, and are not terrestrial like some species of spider, for example many species of tarantula. These spiders are unsurprisingly carnivorous, and spin webs to catch their prey like most spiders do. They are actually venomous, however, to such a low level that they pose no threat to humans. But to small insects like flies that they feed on, it's very deadly. Interestingly, these are quite picky eaters and won't eat every insect caught in their web. Their webs are orb-shaped, as this provides them with excellent strength and elasticity to absorb the impact of incoming insects. The spokes that fan out from the centre are crucial to the web's effectiveness and strength. Interestingly, but slightly off topic, it is thought that spider webs first took this shape around 400 million years ago, when insects first developed flight. Seen as the spider was only recently discovered in 2015, we don't know the full details of their reproductive habits, but we can assume it's similar to most other orb weaver spiders. In many orb weaver spider species, there is huge sexual dimorphism, with females being considerably larger than males. We don't know if that's the case with these, but I'll still explain the general principles of the reproductive cycle. The males are usually grabbed and held down by the females, who press them against their reproductive organs. Once copulation has taken place, the female, in many cases, Cases may eat the male, but this is generally more uncommon than common. The female then produces an egg sac with many hundreds or thousands of eggs inside. Some species have multiple egg sacs with fewer and fewer eggs in each sac. Most spiders will then tie up their egg sacs in silk and either leave them attached to something or some species guard their sacs. It is thought that the reason for the Sorting Hat Spider's hat-like appearance is for camouflage. The brown cone shape strongly resembles the colour and structure of old, dead, shriveled up leaves, allowing the spider perfect camouflage in the dense forests that it inhabits. Other than its peculiar look, there isn't really anything much different from other species in the genus Areovixia, so similar in fact that it was almost not classed as a different species. Due to only being discovered in 2015, not much is known of any threats to the species, with the climate changes affecting the subtropical rainforest of India worse than most places. With average temperatures in the region estimated to rise 1 to 2 degrees by 2050, and rainfall being reduced dramatically, the specific climate conditions the spider lives in are under threat. However, as a spider, it may find it is able to adapt quicker than most other animals to such changes, but only the future will tell. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.